All right, guys, there was so much good things that happened in this episode, but I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know it was kind of overshadowed by a lot of the bad things that did actually happen in this episode. But for the first things first, I do want to talk about some of the good things that did actually happen in this episode. Of course, the biggest storyline is going to be that Kagura actually died. This right here, a lot of people didn't necessarily want to accept it. I kind of thought that this right here is probably going to happen. I think I even tweeted out like three, four weeks ago or something like that, that it's very, very possible that Kagura was actually going to die. I thought I had like a sneaky suspicion. And it turns out that I was correct. This right here is absolutely insane. Remind you guys, this guy was supposed to be the next Mizukage. This right here wasn't necessarily like some random fodder, just throwaway character. Now, this guy was actually supposed to be very very legit had a lot of potential and hopefully they actually do carry out his death correctly i want to see like a whole funeral probably not a whole episode but i definitely do not want this to be the last appearance of kagura now the aftermath of kagura's death was of course what we expected boruto had a whole entire rage scene i didn't necessarily like how they cut out the actual fight and only showed boruto using the rasengan Thankfully, they show that, but regardless, this right here was a very, very big point. I've been talking about this for the past couple of weeks, how Boruto didn't necessarily want to use his karma seal because of the fact that he was afraid that Momoshiki would actually take over his body. They 100% addressed that in this episode, and I'm super happy that they did actually address that. Remind you guys, when it comes to anime canon filler, things such as that, this right here is what we should really be looking towards, man, because this right here actually does contribute to the original storyline. Boruto is now a bit more confident in using the karma seal because he does have the pills. Boruto essentially said that he's around 80% Otsutsukified already, and the karma seal hasn't necessarily progressed anymore. Manga readers, we kind of already knew that the pills were probably going to be working, but when Boruto first got the pills, we understood that the pills were extremely sketchy. Remind you guys, Amada just some random scientist that was working for the Kata organization, working for Otsutsuki. People still have a bunch of theories about Amado right now and how he's potentially setting up for his own agenda, it was definitely possible that these pills had some sort of adverse effects that would affect Boruto that would probably be a part of Amado's plans. As of right now, everything is looking impeccable. Boruto doesn't have any side effects, Amado isn't necessarily sneaking around, and of course the karma seal isn't spreading. Another person that did actually die in this episode was Tenma. Now, I really, really wanted the Boruto to dive a lot deeper into the villains. This right here is because I understand that they're probably going to die and for their deaths to be as impactful as possible. Possible, we have to see their backstory we have to see what they went through we have to see what their upbringing was like and they kind of did that for ten in this episode although i really wish he had multiple episodes of character development if you guys do recall this is the first time that we see any sort of backstory with tenma of course we've seen backstories with hikata but this right here was essentially it for tenma and to be honest looking from this episode he had a very interesting backstory i really wish that he had multiple episodes of character development potentially the first episode that he was actually introduced have this scene that was in this episode be back then so we could actually know why he was being so aggressive why he looked so different from everybody in the Funato clan and at that particular time the first episode that he was introduced we kind of thought that it was possible that he may have actually turned on the Funato clan and in that specific episode he made it clear that he was never going to turn on his brothers I wanted to know why that was the case in that particular episode it just seems like it was too late when he was actually killed in this particular episode don't get me wrong I still do believe that this right here is definitely a very impactful death mainly because it builds the character of not only his brother Isari but also the leader of the clan Funato. Remind you guys, Funato lost two children already. We don't necessarily know completely about the actual health of Siren, Ikata's sister, but as of right now, he took major loss to talk about Funato. Major loss. And I'm pretty sure that he's going to act on that in the future. There's probably going to be some more rash decisions that's probably going to be made just out of anger. And of course, that right there is going to happen from our side as well. In this particular episode, Boruto and Kawaki kind of echo the same sentiment they want to go full speed ahead and of course attack the enemies mainly because he mainly because they thought that they'd be mainly because they thought that they'd essentially be reeling mainly because of course the leader funamushi he's extremely injured and this right here is one of the things that i don't necessarily like about boruto right now boruto should have killed funamushi 100 percent. he should have finished him right then and there not only did he not finish him Funomushi isn't necessarily like severely injured like how Siren was quote unquote, is quote unquote right now severely injured. If you tell me in a couple of days Funomushi is going to be back on his feet doing everything that he was doing a couple episodes ago, I wouldn't be surprised at all. Because Boruto grew up in this time of peace, he's so soft and everything like that, even though he was quote unquote enraged mode, he didn't finish the deal. 
which is something that he needed to do. And I really, really do hope that they change that. And this right here could potentially be from this particular arc right here. A lot of people always criticize the anime only arcs for not necessarily having the Boruto characters learn from the arcs. If there is going to be a lesson because Sarda did this, Boruto did this, and of course, Boonton even brought up the fact that it's kill or be killed. They need to change that perception in this arc. I apologize. Naruto even has that same perception. Naruto rarely kills people when he gets the chance to. This needs to change. One of the things that I'll definitely say though, this episode right here, I don't necessarily think it was a bad episode. I think it was a disappointing episode. Don't get me wrong. I think that this episode should have been the best episode of the arc, but it just was not carried out the way it should have been. For example, two main fights that we did not necessarily get to see and i talked about the first one a little bit early on karma sale boruto versus the leader of the funamushi clan by the way i do like how they made a clear distinction between the regular boruto and the karma sale boruto because when boruto turned on this karma sale it was a completely different story but the second fight that i definitely did want to see is chojiro versus tenma this right here was like completely cut out now again i completely understand that hey you can't necessarily have every single fight be this amazingly animated fight but to not show anything i mean that right there was like superbly disappointing if they handled the karma seal board to fight and of course you handled the tenma versus children to fight impeccable this could have been one of the best episodes period point blank and i understand it's an anime canon but the potential for this episode was the potential for boruto episode 175 when boruto and the rest of team seven fought against deepa it had that type of potential and for it to kind of fall short it was really really disappointing the reason why i don't necessarily want to call this episode a bad episode is because there's a lot of plot being forward in this particular episode again probably not manga plot but for this specific arc there was a lot of development another thing that i did kind of find confusing is the fact that sarada actually used medical ninjutsu in this particular episode on Kagura. If I was really like a Sarada hater, I'd probably say that Sarada is the reason why Kagura is actually dead because Sarada does not know medical ninjutsu at all. If you guys don't necessarily recall, back in Boruto episode 152, they were actually learning medical ninjutsu. Sarada was one of the worst people there. She actually cooked a fish she was trying to nurse back to life. And I wouldn't be mad if Sarada did actually learn medical ninjutsu, but if she's going to learn medical ninjutsu, don't have the first time that she actually tries to use medical ninjutsu successfully on a future kage that's potentially fighting for his life this just was not the right time i know some people are kind of confused about iwabi being there trying to heal kagura this right here is completely fine maybe it's because i'm a biased iwabi fan but in boards episode 152 iwabi shown the ability to actually use medical ninjutsu and i'm pretty sure that right there wasn't the only class of medical ninjutsu and from that episode iwabi was like one of the only people that actually showed a pulse in medical ninjutsu so him actually trying to heal kagura is good in my book but also, I'm really confused about how Mitsuki wasn't there, man, because Mitsuki was one of the people that was actually introduced as being a person who knows medical ninjutsu. But let me know what you guys think about this episode in the comment section below. I'm pretty sure that they're going to bounce back in the next couple of episodes, but I would be lying if I did say that this episode right here wasn't necessarily disappointing. But it's being a boy, Barbie, and we out. It's a knife.